Hello everyone and peace of Christ to all of you. Please invite your friends and let us have some good time together. I apologize for being late, but as you know, we are Arab and we are always late. Actually, you know, the reason I, you know, I'm late, I don't know if I should share this with you, but uh, <clears throat> I'm not sure because most of you will not believe me. Um, you know, what happened... <clears throat> Uh, a donkey come to my window and uh, it's a it's a big donkey and he said to me uh, like Allah he want to you know take you up uh, in a journey you know and then uh, you know uh, I, I don't know much about space uh, ships you know but uh, you know it was <clears throat> it was uh, a very interesting uh, journey you know and uh, those things happen usually to all my family I mean all of us we fly usually and we you know my grand grandfather he used to have a fly carpet and uh, my uncle from the other side actually uh, he used to have a flying horse <clears throat> and then when this happened to me I wasn't really too much surprised because as I said those things happen to us all the time you know <clears throat> um, so anyway, you know, I mean, if you, I, I don't know, many of you don't believe me, uh, but it's a tr true story, you know, and I, if you don't believe me, ask Allah. Yeah, it's a true story. <clears throat> so today our topic is about Muhammad going to the seventh heaven. Who is a Muslim is willing to call us and share with us what he think about this story that Muhammad really he went to the seventh heaven I'm going to open my uh, pal talk program so in case any Muslim only Muslim can contact me please <clears throat> again only Muslims All right. So if you are a Muslim and you are, <clears throat> if you are a believer in what Muhammad said, and you think you can show us some uh, proofs, like you know, consider yourself like this, you know, like you are talking to somebody, and you want to tell him about your prophet. His name is Muhammad, and then you know, uh, this prophet he have a donkey come in front of his house, and then this donkey he took him to the seventh heaven. <clears throat> And then, you know, weird stuff happen in this journey. So who is a Muslim would like to call us? Anyone? Do we have any Muslim? All right. Well, uh, you know, until we find somebody is a Muslim, he's willing to call us. You know, uh, that would be uh, you know fun to have a Muslim explain to us things. Let me see. Somebody send me a news. I don't know if this news is true. All right. <clears throat> so, uh, until now, there is no Muslim calling. It's, uh, you know, let us see.
Have you tried to call in Muslim channels instead of waiting for them? Is it possible? Well, first of all, you know, if I call Muslim channel, what a different? I mean, here we go. Give me the uh, the <clears throat> they give me their ID. I will call them. What a big deal! It's the same. Do I know even who is talking to me? A Muslim channel. Why don't you know? What different is going to be? Let us see if we have a Muslim. If you are not a Muslim and you text me, I will block you, just to let you know. If you are not a Muslim and you text me in Pal Talk, I will block you. You know, we welcome all kinds of Muslims to call us and those who claim that they have answers, uh, they are more than welcome to call me. And uh, if you are there, give me your ID, I will call you. Oh, what a big deal. It's the same. I mean, I call you, you call me, who cares? The interesting is, <clears throat> are they willing to talk to us or not? No, I don't. I, actually, I, I am the one who's calling anyway, because all what you need to do is just text me, say, hi, I'm a Muslim, and I will call you. No? Uh... Let us see. <clears throat> Anyone? Well, if there is nobody, and then we will we will go to the topic. And then Lord have mercy on Muhammad. We give the Muslim chance, the opportunity to, you know, to get involved and present their case. So it can be maybe some some truth in there, maybe, right? Uh, so if we go and see the story of Muhammad going to the seven heaven. <clears throat> And for sure, we will show the story from reference, which is accepted by Muslims as authentic. <coughs> this is Sahih Muslim. This is Sahih Bukhari. As you see, this is all is, is Sahih. All of this is Sahih stories. So they have no excuse to say. Uh, <coughs> We don't accept this story. We don't, you know, I mean, yeah. let us take Sahih al-Bukhari. As long as it is the most respected book and considered the most authentic for the Muhammadan. <coughs> Sorry, my voice is not good, you know, so if I keep saying, <coughs> my throat is dry. All right. It says here, that the messenger of Allah described his to, to them his night journey saying while I was laying in Al-Hatim uh, or Al-Hajr uh, okay I'm just answering somebody please So anyway, so when he was laying down, an angel attacked him. Or take to him, sorry, came to him. Is that a true story, Muslims? It sounds like an attack for me, actually.
Then you must have read the story for us. <clears throat> Nobody? You want me to read it alone? That's not good because you know my English is not good. I thought maybe some of you would help me. All right. Uh, so anyway, the angels, they came to Muhammad, supposedly, and as usual, they come as men, <clears throat> and they cut his body from here to here, which means from his throat to his testicles. And I asked, you know, he said, where? Like, what does that mean? He said, from his throat to his pubic area. You will notice in some other translation, they don't say to his pubic area. They lie. They say from his throat to his down his chest. You notice here they are saying the truth in this translation. <clears throat> Muslims. Why those angels they cut Muhammad's throat, or they cut they they made a cut in his body from his throat down to his testicles? <clears throat> Remember, we are talking about Muhammad getting ready to go to heaven. Any Muslim? Do we have any Muslim? You see, I want to go to heaven now, supposedly. <clears throat> and uh, I want to understand why the angels did that to him. If there is any Muslim, don't mind to tell us what happened. Any Muhammadan? Uh, Zazita one saying, Zazila one saying, CP, why hate on the truth? I don't know what does that mean. I thought my English is bad, but I feel better now. I'm asking you, my friend, is that the truth that your prophet to go to heaven in order to go to heaven? The angels, they cut from his throat down to his testicles to clean, her, to clean him up from inside. Is that a true story? Why Muslims, if we ask them a question, they cry and they play victims? We are people like you. Maybe we'll believe, you know, make me believe. What is the relationship between making a cut from the throat of Muhammad to, the st to his testicles, may Allah bless them, to go to heaven? What is the reason? Any Muhammad? <clears throat> no? Nobody knows? All right, we have uh, <clears throat> We have a brother Osama Dakdok. Maybe he'd like to join us. And maybe that would change the topic, but it's okay. <clears throat> hey, Brother Osama, we are live on air. You'd like to join us? Absolutely, it would be my pleasure. 
Okay, let me let me put you in the speakers. Let me put you in the speakers so everybody can hear you. All right. Can you speak louder? Yes, sir. Hello, brother CB, and how is everybody in your chat room? We are doing fine and uh, good to hear from you. You know, I just uh, texted to brother Osama because uh, somebody sent me a message saying that uh, some some people try to harm you.
a good maybe 12 cars, uh, 11, 12 cars, police cars were there, a uh, helicopter was above us, uh, two ambulance and uh, two fire trucks. The whole place was down there at K and 3 Street. Well, the police came, look at my car, he said, don't touch it until we get the bullet. I said, a bullet? What bullet? I thought my window was broke with a rock. He said, no. You see this hole in the middle of your glass? I said, yeah. He said, that is a bullet. That's not a, uh, a rock. So obviously, they shot a, a, a bullet on me. They did not hurt me. They only break the glass. And somehow, and they also hurt this other white guy whom, uh, who was uh, trying to save me. And uh, brother, quite experienced. And uh, I left, see, uh, I left like around 7 o'clock. Even the perfume was 7 o'clock. But since the police and the detectives were there, I was I have to wait until they finish the paperwork and taking pictures, blah, blah, blah. So they first told me, CB, they captured one of these guys. But okay. since surprise, surprise, two hours later, they said they did not capture anybody. So I do not know who is covering for who or what's happening, but all I know is that I was uh, that close to get a bullet in my car, but it did not hurt me. And I was close to uh, get a... Uh, a bullet face to face within like six, seven feet from these guys has happened quickly, uh, and the Lord has protected my life, and the Lord also protected that uh, uh, white gentleman who came to my rescue, and he was wounded for me. I believe he is wounded for me. This is a story. What happened on the six, uh, All right. three o'clock, and uh, seven o'clock? All right. Well, I, because I just uh, saw the text message, and uh, I text you, and this why you know. Anyway, you know. Uh, always there is bad people good people everywhere you know and uh, what we can do I mean this is how it is I you, know, you know what's amazing CB Vicky my wife she called lots of people ask for prayer for this trip and that's not usual because I mean you know I'm on the road 24 7 all year long so we don't pray for my traveling specifically but she literally asked the church on Sunday to be praying for me and uh, brother uh, 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 Kent, who was from Minnesota, staying with me in my house. We made the trip together, and the church prayed for us. And on that day, there's a lot of people praying. As a matter of fact, some people called me the following day, and they said, how was your trip? I said, uh, was good. Uh, I said, why? Because I thought maybe they heard about the shooting. They said, well, the Lord just put on our heart to pray for you. As Vicky asked us, send us email or whatever she did. I, I think she sent email to everybody. And we were praying for you yesterday. And I said, well, praise God, because if God is with us, who can be against us? They, uh, these guys tried to harm me, but the Lord protected me, and I'm still alive. So I don't take <coughs> prayer lightly, because we cannot do anything without prayers. I mean to that. Well, I'm glad that you're uh, in good condition. You know, I just uh, wanted to be sure. And, uh, you, you know, we just started our program and today our topic is about Muhammad going to heaven. <laughs> so Which heaven? Yeah, he's going to the garden of Allah, but not, not heaven, our heaven. Of course. I, I, you know, I, I, am, I am in the beginning of the story and I am stuck with the part where it says that the two and three angels, they came or two angels and uh, the uh, Jibreel, he cut him from his throat to his testicles. And I'm trying to... <laughs> And I'm trying to understand what is the connection between this and going to heaven. I'm not, you know, I'm, I'm trying to find Muslims to call me, but until now, there's nobody who's calling. Well, good luck to find somebody to help you out with your request. It's, you, you will you will get to heaven without knowing the end. All right. <laughs> well, thank you, Osama, for being with brother us. Brother Stevie, thank, thank you. you so much for calling me, and it's, it's my joy to always be with you, brother. Thank I you. I love you, man, and God bless you God in bless. your ministry tonight. Glad, God to, bless you, glad to be safe. Say bye -bye. hi to you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. All right. <clears throat> well, you know, I mean, angry, angry mob, you know, what you can do. We go back to our topic. Do we have any Muhammadan? You know, racism, racism is ugly. And this is what happened when some people, they fool them and they make them believe that anyone who have a sign about Jesus, he is racist. And, he wanted, and Osama is an, he's, he's an Egyptian, he's an African, you know, he don't have a white skin. I mean, <laughs> isn't it crazy? I mean, <laughs> Osama is an African, you know, in case you do not know. So, I mean, I don't know. Uh, but when you are blind, you are blind, right? When you are blind, you are blind. Your hate will blind you. So you want to kill people. 
Uh, so, do we have any Muhammadan? Any Muhammadan here would like to join us? So anyway, the two angels came to Muhammad. They cut his throat from here to here, which means from his uh, throat to his testicles. Why? <clears throat> Any Muslim knows why? What was the purpose of this? You know, like if we say, you know, if, if we if we say that uh, Muhammad is uh, uh, received by angels, that means the angels are doing the order of the God, and that God supposedly his name is Allah. Okay, wonderful. Why? Any Muslim can tell us what is the purpose of washing, cutting off, cut, you know, cutting open uh, his chest, going down all the way to his testicles? Any Muslim? You see here, you see that because the the story is very embarrassing and doesn't make sense. The Muslims get angry if you ask the questions, but the story itself is the reason for them to be angry the unique thing about this religion that they write this story they teach it to their kids they print it they translate it and then when we ask them about it they get angry any muslim can tell us why so they cannot answer they can't answer. They are suffering from disability. They knew Islam is false. But they get angry. Let us see, maybe we have a Muslim. Uh. Anyone? <clears throat> So it says here, uh, let us go. Farther he, uh, so his, uh, farther he said, then they took out my heart, then a golden tray of belief was brought to me, and my heart was washed and filled with belief. Hmm. <coughs> Interesting. Anyone? Not even a single Muslim? Nobody? I mean, I don't know, like we have almost hit 800 people. And yet, nobody can tell us. They cut his chest and then they filled up his chest with golden tray full of belief and golden tray full of Wisdom? Hmm.
Interesting. Nobody can explain. I mean, this is very simple. I mean, what's what the problem? You see, we aren't asking you questions about like uh, how God created the baby. I mean, it's very simple. <clears throat> what do you think? You see, Muhammad, he want to go to heaven. Muhammad is chosen by Allah. Muhammad is the best of mankind. Muhammad, the perfect man. According to Muslims, he is the best of mankind. I mean, come on. So why Allah, he needed to do plastic surgery to clean him from inside. And then he decided to do such a surgery. And what he installed inside in his throat and his chest and his testicles a dish of faith and a dish of wisdom anyone Why Muhammad was, you know, he's mentally ill. Uh, Allah decided to do some maintenance. <clears throat> Lizzy, Lizzy is saying, you eat pigs, you act like one. Hmm. Well, I know Muhammad, he did not eat pigs, but he was marrying children. So you tell me. And you know, Muslims don't eat pigs, but the Prophet, he order you to drink camel urine. You tell me. I mean, this is animal and this is animal. And camel is forbidden for the Jews anyway, the same as the pig. Camel is forbidden for the Jews, the same as the pig. So your Prophet, not only he made the, the camel lawful for you as meat, he made his, his piss lawful for you. <clears throat> And don't, you know, waste my time talking about eating pigs, you know. I mean, you eat what is worse. But who cares about this? What we care for now, the question in front of us. Allah, he sent an angel and they open his throat all the way to his testicles. And then they start washing his... Uh, but look like you know here the story by the way doesn't show everything uh, <clears throat> but here it says then he took he then took out my heart and then a golden tray of belief was brought to me and my heart was washed and was filled with belief and then returned returned to its or original place. Any comment? You notice here that according to the knowledge of Islam and the knowledge of Allah, you cannot install wisdom and faith unless you take the heart out. You install the wisdom and then you put the heart back. What do you think? <clears throat> Anyone? You see, this will be a, a kind of series we will go through. But a simple question, look at the Muslims, what happened to them? Very simple question. So what kind of religion cannot answer such a, you know, I mean, this is very simple. Is it true that Muhammad really, he received a surgery from his God 
and the purpose was to clean him from in inside and to install a dish of wisdom and a dish of faith. Anyone? <clears throat> Anyone? Waiting. Hmm. I did not even start the topic yet. I'm drinking my tea, waiting for the one who want to tell me. What do you think? Hmm. You know, the Quran says, if Allah want to do something, he said, be is going to be. So based on this story here, Allah, he noticed that Muhammad, he have a problem. And the problem is, you know, he have, he is short of belief and obviously his wisdom is bad. So Allah, he decided to fix Muhammad. It's a maintenance thing. The question is, isn't it the Quran says if Allah wants something to happen, he say B is going to be? Is it angels who install faith in your heart? And is really faith is installed? Anyone? Not even one. <clears throat> Interesting. So what, we will stay waiting? Honestly, I, you know, you see Muslims, if you cannot answer this, I'm going to stop here. And everybody will repeat the same question. Muhammad is going to heaven. Muhammad will see the house of Allah. Actually, he did not see the house of Allah, but there is a house, it's called Al Baytul Ma'mur. We'll talk about it later. But before we go to continue reading, I mean we are just in the first steps in the in the story. So what is next? <clears throat> hmm? Maybe some tea will fix it. We cannot call Zach and Nayak now. You know, he is, uh, <clears throat> he's asleep. And my voice is not really good. I told you from the beginning, for the first minute, I told you my voice is not good. Hmm. I don't see any reason. You know, what is the reason that there is a person want to go to heaven? He is already a prophet. He received a lot of Quran. Allah, he chose him. Do you think Allah, he chose Muhammad and then later he found that Muhammad is not qualified to be a prophet? Like he needs some adjustment, he needs some maintenance. He needs some work. Any Muslim? <clears throat> I 
please be you know keep the the, the chat clean don't use bad bad word otherwise we have to disable the chat nobody all right actually the chat is kind of disturbing you know but uh we will see if people go out of the line we will close it so let us continue then as long as the muslim they have no idea what to say but if we go and check other hadith about this story <clears throat> you will see more details Mm -hmm. All right. Here we go. Here we have a little bit more different details. And here you see they are giving you a different translation about his pubic area, his testicle area. Here they are saying, my heart was extracted and it was washed with the water of Zamzam and then it was restored in its original position, after which it was filled with faith and wisdom. Hmm. So we have to learn here that Muhammad, he needs some washing. There is something bad in his heart. And water Zamzam, and by the way, just in the news, they said, they found that somebody, they are like there is a mafia, they are selling uh, fake water, Zamzam water. Hmm. I hope Muhammad did not get the fake one. I was then brought uh, a white beast, which is called Al Burak, bigger than a donkey and smaller than a mule. It is stride, it was long as I could reach. Ooh. How he is just bigger than a donkey, I mean, smaller than a mule, but then his stride was long as the eye could reach. I was mounted in it, so Muhammad can't climb it by himself, maybe because he's heavy. And then we went forth till we reach the lowest heaven. So now we notice Muhammad, he arrived to the lowest heaven. <clears throat> and then Jibreel asked for the gate to be opened. And it was said, Who is he? He replied, Jibreel. It was again said, Who is with, he, with thee? He replied, Muhammad. Hmm. So what do you think, Muslims? Jibreel is an angel of God, and he is the head of the angels according to Islam. And now he arrived to the door of the heaven, but the angels are asking him, who is he? So Jibreel, he keep coming back, that back door, you know, like up and down, up and down, up and down, and now they are just finding out that this is he? Why the angels do not know that this is Jibreel? <clears throat> First time they see him? Hmm. They said, who is he? He said, Jibreel. It was again said, who is with thee? They replied, Muhammad. What do you think, Muslims? Imagine there is a door. I keep coming all day from it out in, out in, and I am the, the, the master of those angels. Jibreel is the head of the angels. And now he is Jibreel, the big boss, been asked who is he?
uh, someone saying uh, you cannot disapprove Quran using Hadith I am not you know you see that the funny is the Quran is a Hadith too hmm. isn't it the Quran is a Hadith even the Quran says the best of the Hadith the Quran is the best of the Hadith And isn't it you Muslims say there is a hadith which is called consider Qudsi, which means holy? You Muslims are very funny. And isn't it this hadith we are using from Sahih Bukhari the most authentic and you call it authentic? Okay. And we can disapprove the Quran anyway from the Quran. In chapter 39, verse number 23, it says the best of the hadith is a book. Or the Quran here it says Allah has revealed from time to time the most beautiful message where is where it says that it says the bit it says the best of the hadith not message change the translator <clears throat> hmm. the hadith became a statement so anyway, the Quran is a hadith, and why today you are saying to me you cannot disapprove the Quran by the hadith? So what is the story of Muhammad going to heaven in the Quran? If we go to the chapter, it's called Al-Isra, we don't find anything. Where is the story? Huh? You said you cannot disapprove it, right? Okay, but you keep saying that Muhammad, he went to heaven. Where is the story of Muhammad going to heaven in the Quran? There is nothing. It says, the praise be to the one who uh, uh, sent his heaven at night from Mecca uh, to the farthest mosque. There is no heaven. Where is the heaven? Even the heaven is not mentioned. And look at this translation. I mean, Tafsir Al-Qurtubi, Tafsir. What is that? What kind of translation is that? You see, look how many things they are adding here in the translation because they don't know what to say. All what it says is that Allah, he sent him from uh, uh, Al-Masjid Al-Haram and, you know, supposedly we know what is Masjid Haram, supposedly, but nobody can be sure. And supposedly it's Mecca to the farther mosque. Okay, where is the farther mosque? Where is that? What is that? This is the Quran. Where is what is the rest? I mean, how come the Quran tell us about Suleiman? He heard the ant, and the ant she said, uh, so you know they tell us about uh, Suleiman taking flying carpet, uh, give us funny silly details, and the journey of Muhammad. There is only one verse, and there is nothing. What is the story? That's it. Anyone? So where is the one who said you cannot disapprove the Quran by the Hadith? I cannot disapprove the Quran. There is no Quran. What Quran? What is the story of Muhammad going to heaven? Where in where in the verse it says he went to heaven? Is Jerusalem in the heaven? Where is the story? <clears throat> Anyone? Humble slave of Allah is AWT saying the following. Let us take a selfie. Give me a second, my friend. Smile. All right. When the Muslim cannot answer a question, this is what they say to us. Read carefully and see their logic. Humble love of Allah, you Christians don't even follow your Bible, shame on you. 
you choose what fits your need and what's that all about hmm. okay well i thought my bible is corrupt according to you but now you are saying I should follow my Bible. This reminds me of the Quran. The Quran says, you Christians, you have nothing unless you follow the Bible, which means the Bible is not corrupt. Secondly, you said we don't follow the Bible. Why? Why? Do you Muslim follow the Quran? Do you Muslim follow your step, your prophet? If somebody came to marry your daughter, she is six years old, you will practice what Muhammad did? You will marry her to him? Do you beat your wife? Do you have four women? Do you have 13 wives? Do you do jihad? Hmm. All of this to avoid the, the simple question. Why Muhammad needed a plastic surgery to go to heaven? Look, we are not asking anything. How come the angels in the gate of the heaven do not know Jibreel? <clears throat> Anyone? I am Jibreel, I go there every day. I go from this door every every time I go out, I get in. I am the head of the angels, the head of the staff, and yet the angels do not know who I am. Interesting. Any Muslim? If you notice when we finish the video, any video you make, all the comment of Muslims have nothing to do with the video. Just wait. Go check all the previous videos. You will not find one comment have to do with the with the video itself. Usually they don't. 99.99% they don't. Because they have nothing to say. <clears throat> what they can say. Are we stuck here? Any Muslim? Quran say the Bible is your Bible is corrupted. So we those who wrote scriptures. Okay, I will take your sentence, Mister. Uh, I don't know what's your name. smile <clears throat> another Abdul he said if we lose the internet just be patient guys <clears throat> sometime we lose it Quran says the Bible is your uh, sorry uh, the Bible is your Bible is corrupted so we to those who write the scriptures with their own hands and then say this is from Allah okay I mean, this is the most funny story ever. Isn't it you Muslim who wrote the Quran by your hand? Did Allah wrote the Quran? Do you have even the Quran of Uthman? You don't even have Sahih al-Bukhari. You see Sahih al-Bukhari? You don't have Sahih al-Bukhari. You see Sahih Muslim? You don't have Sahih Muslim. You don't have them. What do you have? So the Quran we are reading right now, who wrote it? Isn't it the Quran says that it is on us to collect it and it's on us to recite it? Allah saying that? Any Muslim? It is you who wrote the Quran. Isn't it you Muslim you say the Quran we are reading is Quran or Uthman? <laughs> What is Quran Muhammad? So the one who write it by their hand and they say this is from Allah. That's you. We don't write it from our hand and we don't say it's from Allah.
What do you think? And again, they change the topic so they will avoid the problem. What does this have to do with our topic? Nothing. But what you can say? So they cut his chest, they wash his chest, they install a dish of wisdom, they install a dish of faith. And notice that the faith and the wisdom is coming in, in, a, in a golden uh, tray. Jibreel asked the gate to be opened. They asked him, who is he? He said, I am Jibreel. It was again asked, who is with thee? He replied, Muhammad. They didn't know Muhammad. They didn't know Jibreel, they don't know Muhammad. Okay. I mean, how easy to get the heaven into the heaven of Allah. Just I say Muhammad, so if I go right now, I say I'm Jibreel, I get in. Isn't Jibreel is a, is a person who looked like an angel? I mean, isn't it obvious that he's an angel? Any Muslim? Don't he look like an angel? Is it Muhammad? He says Jibreel have 600 wings. So how come he have 600 wings and he is so big to the point he can cover the horizon and yet they did not notice that this is Jibreel. Uh, Musa, yeah, you wanna call me? Text me, Musa. Are you a Muslim? Text me, I will call you. If you are a Muslim only, please don't use bad language in the chat. Otherwise, we will disable the chat. <coughs> My voice is not good today, so don't let me talk too much. Anyone? So what we notice here that there is a there is a fence there's a gate there's a gatekeeper and gatekeeper do not know Jibreel and Jibreel have 600 wings yet yet they thought he's a chicken maybe or a turkey they ask him who are you Anyone? <clears throat> yeah, today I will not talk for long anyway. Nobody? I mean, what what is difficult in this? So in the last uh, what we are we are live for 30 40 minutes we have we have amazing astonishing lies nobody in the world can believe in them if Allah is God why Allah he need to send angels to make a surgery if Allah he say B is going to be why Allah cannot fix Muhammad by saying B be smart Muhammad okay isn't isn't it Allah who created Muhammad Allah sending two angels to make a surgery for Muhammad and install a dish of wisdom. Where they got the wisdom from? Muslims, where Allah, do Allah like, they have like a warehouse where he store dishes of wisdoms? Hmm? What are those stories about? Let us show you different uh, hadith. Because every hadith have different flavor, you know. <clears throat> All right. Here it says, 
that they cut out his chest. You see here, they don't say the pubic area. And they said, uh, they took all the material out. Mm -hmm. Everything. Nothing inside Muhammad now. So like his heart is in the table doing like boom, 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 boom by itself. His kidney, his liver, his everything. Everything. All the material. You know, that the battery, the wires, all the material. Okay. They took it out of his chest. And then they washed it with Zamzam. And then... Uh, They, look, uh, you know, Jibreel, he used his hands, not his wings. In, in this story, Jibreel have hands, not 600 wings. All right. <clears throat> then he cleaned the inside his body, and then a golden tray contained a golden bowl full of belief and wisdom. Any Muslim? Do you think that Allah, he have a warehouse where he store like wisdom and faith? Mr. Trixility, I mean, we have a topic. You want to ask me a question instead of to keep asking, can I ask you a question? Can I ask you a question? Well, pose the question. If the question had to do with the topic, I will answer you. If you ask me about something else, I will not. I am the one who's asking the question. Do Allah have a storage, a warehouse, or do Allah make wisdom and he stored them somewhere? Because what the story here, according to your prophet, saying that they brought with them a dish, one is full of faith and one is full of wisdom. So let us focus now in the in the wisdom thing. Where are the angels they brought the dish of wisdom from? <clears throat> Anyone? Hmm. Nobody? Somebody saying Jesus even tempted by Satan. And people worship him. Hmm. <laughs> Sad infidels. <laughs> My friend, you see the word tempted? Tempted mean he did not fail. He, that's Satan, he tried. Read the story. Satan, he tried to tempt Jesus. When we say, when the, when the Bible, when, when we say tempted, tempted, it is somebody trying to tempt me, right? But did Jesus commit any sin by the temptation of Satan? Satan, he can say whatever he want. Satan, he can offer you whatever he want. But Jesus, even in your Quran, in chapter 19, verse 19, it says the Holy Son. Jesus is holy. <laughs> so I feel sorry for you. <laughs> we worship a holy man. The Quran says so. This is how they lie when they quote the Bible. If you go and read the story, you will see Shaitan, he fail. But according to your religion, Muhammad, he received command from the devil. If we open the hadith, and notice, by the way, all of this to change the topic because they cannot answer about the silly story of Muhammad. Our topic about Muhammad going to heaven. This is your prophet <coughs> admitting that he received command from the devil. <laughs> and yet you say he's a prophet. <laughs> but Allah, Allah, so he says, there is none among you who don't have an attached to him from amongst the jinn, the, the devil. 
Did a companion said, Allah messenger with you too? Thereupon he said, yes. But Allah helps me against him, so I am safe from his hands. And he does not command me, but for good. <laughs> Where is the guy? Mr. Ha ha ha. <laughs> Infidels. <laughs> Infidels. <laughs> Muhammad received command from the devil. Ha ha ha. Infidels. And who is the infidels? It's us who are the one who kiss black stone. Ha 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 ha. Infidels. What do you think? Hmm? Somebody saying, why would Satan tempt Jesus with meanless early power when he is God? You see, you are just ignorant again. Because isn't it Satan in that temptation? It says, throw yourself from the top of the high mountain if you are the son of God. And the angels will carry you, will serve you. So Satan, he was tempting the son of God. Go read the verses. Grow up, grow up, Muslims. Grow up. A follower of the Prophet's surgery, plastic surgery prophet. Ha ha ha. Ha ha ha. You do not know his Jesus. <laughs> well, he said to him, if you are the son of God, throw yourself. Ha ha ha. So if we go back to the story, which the Muslims are doing their best to try to avoid asking those questions. About the Prophet of God. <clears throat> who receive three angels who cut his chest to wash it with Zamzam because obviously it was very dirty. And then they brought a dish made of gold, full of wisdom, and another dish full of faith. Question, as long as it's a dish, why did they give it to Muhammad and he would eat it? What do you think? Hmm. Any Mohammedan? What I know that Jesus is born by Mary and he was circumcised, so why you worship him? Huh? Well, that's a, that is a funny question. As I know too that Jesus, he is born of Mary, but he have no father. And as I know too that Jesus, he resurrect people from death, but he's born of Mary. And as I know, he's born of Mary, but he can make the blind see. And as I know, he is born of Mary, but he can't tell you what you hide in your houses. And as I know, he is born of Mary, but yet he's right now in heaven. And he's alive, and Muhammad is dead. So why you don't worship him? And as long as you are talking about circumcision, <laughs> have you ever heard of a prophet? His name is Muhammad. He told you to circumcise, and he himself did not circumcise. Any Muslim can tell us? Is it one hour? I'm planning to speak, to to go because my voice is tired. <clears throat> my throat is dry. Okay, we are almost there. Muslims will call you. It's easier. My friend, if they call or they don't, who care? I mean, for me, I you see, for me, I don't really care if Muslims they call or not. We are just giving them opportunity to answer. And do you think if a Muslim he call us, he have an answer anyway? I mean, look at this. Do you think if really, if they have an answer, they will not call? 
they don't call because they have no answer. <coughs> Correct? Otherwise, they will be lined up. And look, we did not ask anything. I mean, we did not ask anything really serious. I mean, this is very simple questions. Anyone? I know, you see, I, I'm trying my best uh, to make it easy for you. Your God came to the earth and God killed by his creature <laughs> so he can forgive them. <laughs> That's funny. Well, you look at this. Allah, Allah, he come down every night to the third part of the night to ask who is asking for forgiveness so he's going to forgive them. <laughs> well, you see, to be killed once and resurrected is 1,000 better time than coming up and down every night. I feel sorry for Allah. He have to commute non-stop. What kind of God he cannot? You see, when you are making the story here, first of all, this is a lie. God did not come to the earth so he will be killed. God, he knew what they will do. God, he knew what they will do. And he is not a coward like your prophet. So they want to kill him. Okay, kill me. I, you know, I overcome death. And that is additional proof that Jesus is God. Additional proof in your religion too that Jesus right now is alive. If Jesus is just a prophet, he should be dead like this, the rest. Muhammad is dead. He's the best of mankind according to Muslims. He's dead. Jesus is not. Who is the one who will defeat the devil according to Islam in the last day? Jesus. So what Muhammad for? What Muhammad accomplish? If the one who will defeat the devil is Jesus. If you watch an American movie, which one is stay to the end? The hero. In your Islamic movie, who is the hero? Muhammad or Jesus? Give me the answer. In your Islamic story, who is the hero? Muhammad or Jesus? Jesus, after he got killed, he left the universe without any control. That is very silly. First of all, they killed the flesh. God is always alive. Secondly, don't you know that we Christian we believe in the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit? Very silly. God is always alive. However, I can say the same to you. Your God is dead since he, Muhammad, he claimed his exist. Here we go. Muhammad is claiming in the Quran that judgment day is near and the moon is split asunder. Muhammad claimed that the moon is split is the start of the judgment day. Yeah. Claiming that Allah is the one who split the moon. That was an eclipse. And nothing happened until now. Your God is dead. And again, all of this is to avoid answering the question, what kind of a story Muhammad he came with when he went to heaven? <laughs> Did you notice? They will speak about anything except what the question is. Don't ask the question. And look how hypocrite they are. They claim that Jesus is dead when the Quran says, no, Jesus is alive. The funny that Allah, he sent Jesus, according to Muslims, as a prophet, yet he saved Jesus, but he did not save Muhammad. The Jews wanted to kill Jesus. Allah, he saved Jesus. Okay, sound good. 
Why Allah did not save Muhammad? Any Muslim can tell us. Look, Allah, he invested a lot of money and time in Muhammad. He need to fix him. He waited 40 years until he is ready. He did feed him until he is ready. And then he did the plastic surgery until he's ready. And he washed his chest. And then he took him to the seven heaven. He sent him a donkey. All of this is gone. And then Jesus is alive and Muhammad is dead. What do you think? Muhammad is a person you must believe that he was bewitched. And you are talking about Jesus, the sh Satan, he tried to tempt him. He tried. But black magic is Satan controlling you. Muhammad is under the control of Satan. You Muslims agree that your prophet was under the control of a black magic. <clears throat> Hmm? The bewitched prophet? How oh, we can trust him now? He's a bewitched. What do you think? Even Aisha, she said that even his sexual activity was false. Muhammad, he imagined himself having sex. This hadith is a metaphor, we'll prove it. Anything is embarrassing is metaphor. <laughs> Guys, this hadith is metaphor. So Muhammad did not go to heaven? Which one is metaphor? Which one? About the heaven, about the poison, about be bewitched? I guess all of them, they are metaphor. Anything you don't like, it's a metaphor. Anyone? I don't think this is metaphor. I think this is metaphors. <clears throat> And why we cannot find the story of Muhammad going to heaven in the Quran? What is the story? It says that Allah, he took him from uh, the lowest, uh, from, uh, from Mecca, uh, sorry, you know, and to the farther mosque. Where is the farther mosque? Muslims, they claim this is Al-Aqsa in Jerusalem. Okay. If we claim so. If we... There's no proof, but anyway, we will go with it. So where is the story about the heaven? Why Allah forget to mention that he took Muhammad to heaven? The hadith about the orta is metaphor. <laughs> the guy, he died. I mean, look, uh, are you a kid? Do you want me to block you? Speak serious, otherwise I will block you. The man he died, and you are saying metaphor. Are you are you are you an idiot? Muhammad he died, and you are saying to me this is metaphor. The guy he he, he died because of it. You must be uh, just plain, maybe. This is metaphor. That he died. It says. The prophet in his element, which he died, he used to say, he died. This is metaphor? I mean, the guy, he's died and metaphor. What? Okay, well, no comment. What you can say. So, to make it simple, I'm not going, you know, we will continue maybe tomorrow, the same story, because we could not get anyone to debate us about it. And my voice is not good. The hour, sorry, the, 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 the other verse here. This is the Quran, chapter 17, 
It's called Al Isra, which about supposedly the journey, the night journey. Okay, and it's happening in the night. Always there's no witnesses. I mean, all things I do, me myself too, I do it at night. You know, yeah, Jibril really come to me at night only because you know he's, uh, he's a, you know, he don't like light. So where is the story? What is the story in the Quran? The Quran, we find tons of his stories. Alexander the Great, he found where the sun set, he found it in certain murky water, he found people, then he went, he found where the sun uh, rise, and then he built a, a, a dam, uh, the seven sleepers, and they have their dog. I mean, the story about the dog took, took more verses than the story of Muhammad going to heaven. What is the story about going to heaven? Somebody saying his name is Tahseen. He's saying your God. He sucked a breast to be fed. Prove it. I want to learn from you. As I know, you are maybe you are like making fun of the Quran. According to your God, my God, He spoke in the cradle as a person of wisdom and as a prophet. As you see, your prophet he needed plastic surgery. And then he waited until he is 40 years. And then after that, Jibreel, he squeezed him. And then after that, still Muhammad don't understand what happened. While Jesus in the in the Quran, in the cradle, he spoke. So if he is a person who need to be fed by breast, are you saying the Quran is a stupid book? Are you saying the Quran is lying that Jesus, he speak in, speak in the cradle? When his mother, she pointed her finger at him to speak to him, and the Jews, they said to her, talk to who? To the baby? And then what Jesus said? So here you notice how the Muslims, in order to avoid answering simple question about a fabrication made by Muhammad, about him going to heaven, they try to say anything, and whatever they say, we got them busted. My God is in a human form. Well, your God is in an in a octopus form. Isn't it the Hadith says that Allah, he come to you in a shape of a shin? And the Quran says that? Huh? What do you say? This is Sahih, your prophet saying that. What do you say? Allah will come to you in a shape other than the one you know? And how you recognize him? You recognize him by his shin? You have a God, he's a, you have a God, he's a shin? Let me show you the hate about the shin. Give me a second. <clears throat> Let us see. Anyway, they are just trying to change our topic because they are desperate. Your God, your God. You can say whatever you want about my God. The topic now is about your prophet and your God. Obviously, your God is not a God. This God who want to fix Muhammad wisdom by sending dishes of faith. Eh. Right? Anyone? Okay.
here we go we found a hate about the shint and the admin actually posted for you thank you admin do you know any sign by which you can recognize him they will say the shin and so Allah then will uncover his shin so your God Allah he will change his shape playing hide and seek and you are saying to us that Allah isn't a man so what he is octopus Allah have a shape and as long Allah have a shape that's mean he have a physical size and as long he have a physical size that means he is inside something how you Muslim you say God cannot be inside his creation and now he is inside his creation <coughs> any Muslim Shin Don't forget to uh, uh, to save the link about the shin of Allah because later you might ask me and you know we will have difficulty to I mean maybe I'm not busy or something you know so Allah have a shape Allah have a shin Allah have I don't know what is that what is this what kind of what we are talking about are we talking about God so Allah is a shin, Allah have a shape, Allah changed his shape. What he would do with the previous shape, he would put it in the closet. Then the Almighty will come to them in a shape. Other than the one which they saw the first time. And he will say, I am your Lord. And they will say, you are not our Lord. And none will speak to him but the Prophet. So it, you must tell me, you will laugh at Allah. You will say to him, you are not Allah. Come on, look at you, look at you. You look funny. <laughs> you look like Christian Prince. <laughs> you know, ugly, scary, you know. So, this is Allah. Why my God cry in the cross? He did not cry in the cross. My, my God, he was caught in the Old Testament. It was a prophecy about, about him. Eli, Eli, this is an Old Testament statement, you idiot. The one who cry is your God. Allah, he could not face the Jews, so he took Isa and he ran with him. <laughs> hey, Isa, let us run, the Jews are coming. <laughs> hey, Isa, jump. The Jews is coming, man. We have to run before the Jews come. Okay. True story. So, all of this because they don't want you to see how stupid the story is. They are trying their best to change the topic. <clears throat> Very simple. Change the topic. Don't ask those questions. So what we learned today That there's no verse in the Quran speaking about Muhammad going to heaven. Which again proved that Muhammad is a fabricator. Because if if Muhammad have time, if the God of Muhammad have time to tell us about the ant, telling the ants to hide from their places, from the, from the army of Sulaiman. Allah have time to tell us about the seven sleepers. Allah have time to tell us about Suleiman. The flying carpet of Suleiman. Suleiman holding his stick, Suleiman on his chair. All kind of stories, but Allah don't have time, maybe he forgot to tell us that Muhammad, he went to the seven heaven. Where we can find the story? Any Muslim? Hmm. 
when Muhammad he told his followers and even those who don't follow him that he went up to heaven and he have no proof except claiming the story do you know what happened Muslim became apostate read it since they deny it and some of them apostated when the prophet informed them of it Muslims Muslims those are the Muslims who follow Muhammad they decide to leave Islam when Muhammad taught the story do you see it and this is tafsir al jalalain <coughs> Anyone? Hmm. <coughs> Let us see. Oh, Lord have mercy. People texting me from Paltok. Those people that used to come to my chat room, they are happy to see me in Paltok. It says, oh, is the room is open? <laughs> is the chat room is open? <coughs> so look what, what, what we have. A story is not even good to tell kids. A story, there's no backup of it, even in the Quran. Even the God of Muhammad did not say, I took you to heaven. Muhammad, he's making very funny, weird stuff. Like, did Allah, he made surgery for Jesus before he took him to heaven? Here we go, Jesus in heaven. Did Allah send an angel to Jesus? They cut his chest. Hmm? Did Allah send an angel to install a dish of wisdom in the chest of Jesus? Muslims, Jesus in the cradle, he spoke saying, I am, I am prophet in the cradle. He's one, one second old. Muhammad now is almost 50, 40, 45, 50. We don't know how, when, when this happened to him. And yet he needed a surgery and what they install a dish of wisdom and imagine Muhammad he told this story after the surgery so how foolish he was before the surgery if this has happened to Muhammad after the surgery if Muhammad telling this story after the surgery, after he received a dish of wisdom and a dish of faith. I mean, this is a story, it must be told by a fool. I mean, if, if this is after the, 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 the repair. If I am a wise man, I will not go and tell this story to anyone because obviously this is a stupid story. God, he installed a dish of wisdom. You see, okay, you can say that God took me to heaven, no problem. But here there's details, which is very funny. I mean, God is washing his chest with the water in Mecca. What about bringing holy water from the heaven, supposedly? Why from Mecca? I mean, this is a, the, the camel step on it, you know, the, it's a water. And it's poison. If you go and see this, uh, the, the BBC report, which Muslims, they were so upset from it. They show you that it, it have it have an arsenic, which is a poison material. Each time you drink a cup, is like you smoke a cigarette. <clears throat> right. So all this story proven to us that Muslims cannot answer them because simply they are. It's very embarrassing, obviously. 
and they are not brave to, to, to even talk about it. They try, they try to, to ask about anything to take us away from our topic because it's embarrassing. Allah is God, but yet he cannot fix Muhammad. He need to send an angel to do surgery. Embarrassing. Allah, you know, Allah have a power supposedly. Okay. If Allah, he said to Muhammad, okay, Muhammad, be smart. Is Muhammad going to be smart? No, because Muhammad is too stupid to make him smart. So Allah needed to send an angel to fix him. What do you think? You see, Jesus, he said to the blind man, see, he saw. Can Allah say to Muhammad, be smart, and he became smart? Jesus said to the man, he can't walk, carry your bed and walk. He walked. Okay. Why Allah needed to make a surgery? And what is driving me like, uh, I mean, I'm, I'm getting dizzy now. Why? I mean, where Allah, he got the dishes of wisdom. I mean, do we have a warehouse of wisdom where he stored dishes? Like, is that really normal what Allah he do? Like when he want to make somebody smart, he send him a dish of wisdom. And why Muhammad did not eat the wisdom? I mean, why they install it? I mean, where they put it where exactly? If you go and see what the Hadith says, it says they install it in his throat and his uh, uh, vein. Where? His vein. They stuff it, they stuff it. I mean, have you ever heard somebody was stuffed in his veins with faith and wisdom? How they stuff it? Read carefully. <clears throat> Where it says, okay. Uh, okay, they cleanse inside his body and then the golden tray contained a golden bowl and believe wisdom, etc. You know, and Gabriel stuffed his chest and the throat blood vessels with it. So now, if Muhammad he donates some blood, he will, if Muhammad bleed, he will lose his wisdom. As long as they put it in his throat. If Muhammad he go to the bathroom, is he going to do poop with the wisdom too? Muslims? Remember Allah he put the wisdom in his throat. Muhammad he go to the bathroom. That's mean Muhammad uh, by by 24 hours after that he will lose all the wisdom and the faith. I mean, Allah could not find a better place than his throat. And if you want to say to me, this is metaphorical, that will be funny because it says the dish. It says they cut for real. And Muslim believe they cut it for real. This is the metaphor. This is something new in the Muslim because this is embarrassing. So they try to say it's a metaphor. Metaphor. <clears throat> Anyone? All right. So we will finish for today. Don't forget to download the video. And as you see, my voice is not really doing good. <coughs> uh, but I'm really disappointed. I thought we would get so many Muslims to call us about this topic. They will be excited because about Muhammad going to heaven and Muhammad going to the, you know, you know to the Aqsa, visiting Hamas. And then we find that all of this is a shish kebab hummus. Not a true. So what we would do? No answer. This is what Islam is about. No. Right? Anyway, uh, the admin was posting the links for you for all the reference we mentioned, feel free. To share them with your friends and save them make a notes so you can learn 
and later if you need them you can have them uh, all the prophet have wife what's wrong with that you know all prophet have wife the only prophet who make a verse saying any woman she want to give herself to the prophet is Muhammad and he asked a girl she is not even a one year old to marry her and he marry a child and don't change the topic we are not talking about Muhammad now sexual life and by the way obviously Allah he cared for the sexual life of Muhammad he want to make him happy <clears throat> I mean this is what God do he cared for his prophet if Muhammad the private part is not happy Allah is, is sad the happiness of Muhammad the private part is from the happiness of Allah they are connected there's a lot of connection there I mean do you think Allah will accept that he's a prophet he is not getting enough women he go to bed and his private part is hungry no way that's against Islam my friend this is a prophet and then even even when Allah he decided to send to, to Muhammad he said I was the most weak person in sexual intercourse and that I invoke my God Allah and he sent me a dish of al kufayt which means shish kebab and then he ate it and he get the power of 40 even that one Allah he fixed it by a dish even fixing the sexuality of Muhammad Allah could not fix it without dish so in Islam wisdom is a dish faith is a dish fixing your sexual problem by Allah is by a dish eh? I mean the blessed dish of Allah I mean lucky the one who get Allah dish who is better than Allah dish nobody if Allah he have a dish he is the best what we learn from this that Allah is the best cook he cook in his kitchen faith like uh, Allah is like Einstein you know you have like you know and he waking in the laboratory he's putting this with that and mixing this with that and then he come with the you know formula which is called faith and then he sent it in a dish he put it in the dish you know cover it like put it in a golden tray as you see golden tray he, can, he cannot put it in plastic you know because uh, Allah is support the environment you know he will not send garbage to the earth no plastic plastic are free all right so he used golden tray and you know those golden tray and uh, you know one have the uh, you know uh, faith and the other one have wisdom so Allah he worked in the kitchen he made a dish for wisdom which is very easy by the way you add whiz and dumb together you know and you cook them in 300 degree and you put them in the oven after that for 45 minutes and then you add some spices on them and then you know like you put you know you cut some books you know you chop them chop books chop 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 you know but the books of wisdom you know you chop them and you mix them with this uh, thing and you know and then you put it uh, again in the oven for 15 minutes and after that, you know, you 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 spray uh, 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 wise salt, you know, wise salt, not normal salt, wise salt, and then you know you can add like some uh, black uh, uh, faith paper, you know, uh, in the top of it, and then you know you make it ready, you cover it, and you know have to keep it uh, warm, by the way, and then you send it to the angel Muhammad, then he stuff it inside his throat, and Muhammad is okay. Hmm. What is this? This is God. This is God. Hmm. All right. Well, thank you very much, guys, for being here. <clears throat> I hope tomorrow my voice will be better. If not, we will take a break. But mostly I will be here. You know, actually, today I said to myself, I will not go live <laughs> because my voice is not good. But I cannot resist the temptation of sharing the amazing, beautiful stories about the Prophet unbelievable you feel like you are taking a cooking like we are we, we have a cooking show you know like you know today we will teach you how to cook wisdom and how to cook faith all right get your ready and get your recipe uh, and even, uh, what I can say yesterday we were talking about a cloning Allah is a special you know he have a he's a he's a he's a very good in cloning he clone 
uh, he cloned someone like Jibreel he cloned himself he made himself look like the Kalbi Allah he made Jesus look like someone he made silicon Jesus I mean the stories of Muhammad is beyond fantasy there's no fantasy work with Muhammad Muhammad he beat all the fantasy stories and this guy he is so good in stealing stories 90% of the stories Muhammad he come with is starting from somebody from the flying carpet to the flying horse to the ring of Solomon to the ant is talking to the to the Zulkarnain to the seven sleepers to this story everything is a story you don't even have a good imagination and I say thank God that he was a thief otherwise it's going to be hard for us to expose him thank you guys for being here may the Lord bless you Feel free to subscribe to our uh, channel here. If you already subscribed, don't forget to unsubscribe because Allah will give you a blessing for doing that. And then subscribe again and then Allah will give you double deeds. The wisdom of the Prophet Muhammad after the surgery. And, uh, you know, for those who uh, always support us, I say thank you very much. God bless you. Download the video and uh, add subtitle if you speak different languages. Let everybody see the truth and the truth will set you free. Thank you and God bless you. Take care. Bye-bye.